Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Anirudh and today we are in uh, Airjet Loom, uh, Airjet Looms in textile industry. It's one of the most uh, renowned industry. Uh, right now we are at the top of the uh, entire setup. This is these are the two compressors, Kaiser compressor made in German and it is around 65 uh, horsepower. Here you can see the air filters, the mesh is there and from here the air is sucked inside it and you can see here there is a pipeline which are connected to these uh, two of the machines. These entire pipelines are connected to the pressure vessel. Uh, this this uh, pressure vessel has around uh, uh, the pressure of around 6.5 bar and apart from this this stores the air whenever the entire air is completely filled that time one of the compressor just shuts down and it is uh, it's just save the energy also and from this from this pipeline it passes down the air just passes down and you can see here this uh, the, uh, there is one setup here the air is sucked in inside this okay so we will come down uh, so here we come uh, below the entire compressor setup these are the two setups these are known as air dryers these air dryers just helps the compressor to cool down because the uh, compressor actually works uh, continuously so just to cool them these two air dryers are there you can see the setup these are also Kaiser compressors the pipelines are there above this the compressors are kept and you can see the entire setup here This is the third step in which I will be showing you the humidi humidification plant. Uh, this is the control panel of the entire humidification plant. These are the hoses and uh, here I will come. The, these are the humidification plant in which I will be showing you the rotor is there. So this is the rotor you can see. Oh, this is the first step of the uh, humidification plant and the, here is the rotor wheel. Uh, this is the rotor on which the cloth is there and the inside uh, the down part where the air jets are there the cotton uh, is continuously sucked with the help of this and due to this the efficiency of the uh, textile machines that uh, air jets increases and this is just to collect the cotton uh, above this uh, rotor plant and So this is where the motors are placed. I can't open this uh, the, this door because the machines are continuously working down, and the air is so high that uh, the doors are closed right now. Everywhere the uh, motors are there, and this is the room, the humidification room in which uh, the cooler, the the path of the air, the cool air is passed downside to the air jets. Uh, it's like a cooling, cooling uh, coolers. Uh, the entire the cold hot air is transferred and it is coming back from uh, the the upper side, the pressure vessel, and it is uh, the, it is cooled uh, in this place. This is the humidification plant. You know, as I showed you the rotor. This is the cot. Uh, this is the cloth uh, above which it has been placed, and this is the air filter. This is the air filter in which the the air just purifies. Uh, the entire the, there is a filter inside it. Uh, from the above pressure vessel, it comes down in uh, in this compressors, and the air compressor just allows uh, passes from the air passes uh, from the compressor air dryer to this plant, and after filtering, it uh, it is transferred to the machines. So this is the area in which the beams are kept. These are the beams. As you can see, uh, the 
the yarns are mounted around this uh, beams and this this is the raw material which is required for uh, converting from the yarn to the cloth and this is this this is the beam trolley beam trolley in which we, with the beams are placed and with the help of these trolleys we can just uh, push the uh, beams also these heavy beams and this is the beam beam lift chain beam chain block. beam check block chain block chain block uh, this is the beam chain block with the help of this we can uh, lift the uh, beams also and this is the motor and this is the return air motor uh, this entire setup is connected to the upper part of the machines that has compressors as well as uh, air dryers uh, with the help of this machine we can just uh, return the air air flow those are the panels main panels these are the stabilizers these both are the stabilizers and those are the control panels of the entire whole system yes so this is the return air room as you can see here the upper part which I, where i showed you the rotor part the the, the cotton is sucked from uh, from the uh, the downside of the the cottons are placed it just sucks with the help of the rotor and the leftover uh, cotton parts are just settled down so these are the machines air jet machine uh, this is the warp warp machines and with the help of this the warp horizontal motions are provided to the, uh, the cloth the yarn and there is the the yarn nani the yarn nani take it and that is the warp warp, warp machine these are the cones these are the cones the warp machine air ventilations are there air is stuck through this the yarns are provided this is the control panel on which the entire RPM can be adjusted. Ventilations are there throughout the entire machines. Through this cone the yarn is attached. Here, so the entire system which I showed right now, the air comes from this pipe and passes to that uh, filter that's all the uh, ventilation system uh, so this is the room uh, mending house hall or uh, you can say it where the product uh, produce the final products of the cloth are kept here in this warehouse so you can see here the roll formats are also there the rolling uh, the rolled cloths are there as well as this is the mending as a mending and rolling machine you can see here there is one motor behind this machine so the finished final product of this uh, of the uh, this cloths are kept uh, behind this and this is this entire setup is used to check the cloth uh, quality as well as to check the length of the uh, cloth this is the meter machine so with this help of uh, with the help of this 
tool we can check how much uh, length of the cloth has been uh, received till now and with the help of this uh, rollers also we can just roll it out this in this format this is also the lift this this helps uh, to just pass down the final finished products because these are heavy like one roll is up, uh, of three, 300 350 meters above so this is heavy quite heavy yeah. with the help of this tool we can check the with the help of this tool we can check the peak value uh, as you can see here we can check by keeping this tool like this and just watching out the threads inside this yeah this helps to find the peak value so i hope you like this video of this entire air jet uh, looms uh, i will try to bring more videos like this of air jets as well as the there are hand uh, hand hand looms also and thanks for watching